math students, this is Mrs. Lewis. This is continuing from the last video. Okay, so we are multiplying decimals by tens. Let's look at page nine in your Singapore textbook. Number, uh, number three. Okay, so if you multiply or 35 thousands by 10, you get 35 hundredths. We're moving the decimal place over one place value. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and work out a couple of these on your own. So number four in your textbook on page nine. So pause the video and work on number four. So let's check some of those together. So we have four A on page nine in your textbook is 12 hundredths times 10. So we move the decimal place over one place value and you get one and two tenths. Okay, let's look at 4B. We have 68 thousandths the decimal place over one place value and you get 68 hundredths. Now let's look at a different type of problem. If you turn your textbook to page 10. Let's look at number five. No, scratch that. Let's just look at this problem here. If I have 0.45 or 45 hundredths and I want to multiply it by a whole number. Let's say three. Well, I'm going to multiply this out like I would normally multiply something. So 0.45 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. And there are two decimal places in my problem. So there will be two decimal places in my answer. So I get 1.35. Now, what if I multiplied 0.45 times 30? Okay, what would I get? Well, this becomes a two-step problem, okay? I can say, well, first, I'm going to multiply 0.45 times 3, and then multiply 1.35 times 10 because 10 times 3 is 30 so I can split that into two separate problems and I move my decimal place to one decimal place, um, place value I get 13.5 so I'm splitting the 30 into two numbers right I'm splitting it into 3 and I'm splitting it into 10 okay let's do a couple more like that So look at your textbook, look at page 10, number five. So we'll do 53 hundredths times 40. Okay, so I have 53 times four. We'll do that first. 
going to get an amount, and then I'm going to multiply that by 10, and then I'll get my final answer, okay? Because see, I've split the 40 into 4 and 10, okay? So 4 times 10 equals 40, okay? So first, I'll do 53 hundredths times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. There are one, two numbers behind the decimal place. That will give us 2.12. There's one, two decimals behind, or numbers behind the decimal place, my answer. Okay, this is from this kind of multiplication. We did this in the, the fall semester. So this should be review um, right here. So. Let's keep going. So here we get 2.112, and then we multiply it by 10. When you multiply by 10, all you're doing is moving your decimal place over one place value. You get 21.2. Okay. I'm gonna work out a couple more like this, and then you can work on exercise four in your workbook. Still page 10, I'm looking at 6A, page 10 in your textbook. So we have six, I love it, six thousandths times 30. Okay, so this becomes a two step problem. I'm going to do six thousandths times 3. I'm going to get a number here, and then I'm going to do it times 10. And then that will give me my final answer. So 6 thousandths times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Bring down the 8 and carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 18, or is 1. 3 times 0 is 0. There are one, two, three numbers behind the decimal place in my problem. So there's going to be one, two, three numbers behind the decimal place in my answer. I get 18 thousandths. I multiply it by 10. Means I move the decimal place over one. I get 18 hundredths. I'm gonna work out one more from your textbook, and then I want you to go to exercise four. You should be able to do exercise four. Okay, so let's look at F, six F. We have three, Point two four eight. So three and two hundred and forty eight thousandths times sixty. Okay, so again, this is going to be a two step problem. First, I'm going to multiply three point two four eight times six. And then when I get this answer, I will multiply it by 10, and I'll get my final answer. Six times eight is 48. Six times four is 24 plus four. 28. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. 
There are one, two, three numbers behind the decimal place in my problem. So there's gonna be one, two, three numbers behind the decimal place in my answer. Is it 19.488 or 19 and 488 thousandths? Times 10, because I'm gonna move my decimal place over one to the right, one decimal place, I get 194 and 88 hundredths. Okay, so go ahead and work on exercise four in your workbook. And if you have any questions, please email me.